Hey there folks, um, thanks for tuning in to another 7 Days to Die video. I um, wanted to make a quick, uh, semi-quick video to try to talk about how to locate military bunkers and research labs in the Darkness Falls mod. Um, we had some struggles with our playthrough, um, we've just about wrapped up at this point, maybe a few more videos, a few more horde knots, maybe another lab, but for the most part, maybe about done with this mod, maybe trying to move on to something else, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I just wanted to go through and kind of talk about how to find these things, how to find these things where they where they're located, how you can locate them. Um, go through a couple methods. Um, I'll start with the method um, of being in the game. You know how you do it without <laughs> being cheaty um, and looking into uh, prefab files and that sort of thing. Um, so the first thing I want to do is is kind of go from if you're in the game, um, how do you find one? Well. A lot of it's going to be really dependent upon uh, the map size you chose. If you chose a random gen, I've even heard they don't even spawn at times. So you want to make sure you've chosen one of the Darkness Falls um, predetermined maps. So there's like DF small, DF medium, DF large. Um, if you chose one of the smaller ones, it's going to be a lot easier. If you chose one of the large ones, you're going to be in the same boat we were. It was just an exorbitant amount of time to try to locate one of these bunkers. Um, so what you want to do, um, once you've found... Uh, once you're once you're play the game, you've made it a little farther. You've gotten some decent loot, and you're wanting to try to find the uh, quote unquote end game. The the easiest way out that we've found to locate these things um, in game, you're supposed to be able to find um, Eve, which is a wandering trader. Um, she's located in the either the burnt bomb or the wasteland. It's never been clear to me where she's at. We've never been able to locate her. Um, she's supposed to give you a quest line that takes you to these bunkers in the research labs and you do them as a quest. Um, however, I've never located her. Um, as far as I can tell from the forums and from looking around, it's, it's about like a Sasquatch sighting. It's, it's almost impossible to, to find her. Um, so we're going to go into, uh, we're in creative mode here. Um, we'll, I'll kind of fly around to save some time, me wandering around looking for these things, but, but you can find them in game just by looking around. So what you want to do for the military bunkers, military bunkers are always going to spawn in the burnt biome, which we're in now. And what you're going to look for is these, uh, uh, these wells, um, so sort of the, uh, reminiscent of the ring here, uh, <laughs> with all the doom down towards the bottom. Uh, they're pretty inconspicuous. They don't they don't really stand out a whole lot, but they are pretty easy to spawn the burnt bomb. There's not a lot of uh, Structure in the burnt bomb for them to hide behind. They typically aren't on roads from my experience um, But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't spawn there um, So what you can do is just come out come out in the burnt bomb and you know Just wander around until you've you know ran across one you can be you know, chasing coal or something um, and when, once you're here, um, you're going to just, well, we're going to cheat a little bit because I don't have the tools, but uh, you'll come down the ladder here and you'll be met with one of these doors. These doors are locked. Um, they do require um, key cards, so you may have, uh, I don't have any. Um, you may have seen these. Um, I'm guessing if you've, uh, if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen, you've come across these or know about the military bunkers to even know to look for them but you're definitely going to need these key cards um the the amounts of each one i don't know um the red ones are more for the uh, research lab um but the greens and the blues will usually get you into the military bunkers and the doors in those bunkers um so uh, so that should get you into these and uh, i won't spend too much time in here to spoil the inside of the area for you um it's just a poi just like any other uh the walls are invincible um so you can't uh you're not going to be able to uh you know bore down and go through the wall or something like that they're going to be um they're, they're like the traders or something like that they're they're not going to be able to be broken um, so just keep that in mind that you have to go in the in the top here and you have to come back out the top um and when you come back out there's going to be a whole lot of zombies there so be prepared for that um so let's go to, I'm going to do a quick uh, teleport here, um, and let's go to uh, the military, or the uh, research lab. We'll just do... And as tempting as it would be to teleport to these things in-game when you're playing, um, you're definitely going to spoil some of the fun for you and some of the... Uh, difficulty of, of finding these bunkers 
Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over a way to locate these. It's a little less cheaty, but it still requires you to go on foot and go here and go through the wasteland and survive it, and um, you know have the risk of being in a radiated zone and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. You can teleport around. I don't recommend that as a method. Period. Um, I'm just doing it here for uh, for show. So what you're gonna look for when you're in the wasteland again, if you're in a smaller map, uh, finding these on your own is gonna be the easiest method or well the best method to not be cheaty. Um, but again, if you did like us and you picked a huge map, you're going to be kind of screwed. You're going to have to, you know, look at coordinates and that sort of thing. And I'll, I'll go over that here in a minute to show, to talk about how to find those coordinates and how to locate them on the map and that sort of thing. So what you're going to do is when you're in the uh, uh, wasteland, it's the same kind of thing. You're just going to have to wander around. Again, they're usually not on the road. Um, they are sometimes close to a road, but for the most part are not. This is the DF small map, uh, and this one's definitely not close to a... Uh, a map but what you're going to look for are these these set of the set of tent here the set of tent these uh tents that are set up here um there's five small ones and then one one larger one um there is some loot in the larger one but i usually leave that till you know till you get completely done with it so what you're gonna look for is there's a bunch of tents here and under one of the tents i think it's always this one um you'll see a hatch and the hatch is going to be unlocked and it's going to be just like the military bunker um, you're gonna come through here. You're gonna come down the ladder and the ramps, and you're gonna be met with a door, which is gonna need a key card. Um, some of these have um, the color of the key card they'll need above the door. Um, there's some in here that do not. Um, for for me, I, it took me forever to notice this. I thought it, the key card designated the lock color. It is not. It's the block color above the key card. And if you use the wrong one, it'll flash and tell you which one to use. See in the bottom right hand corner, you see the blue. So it's just telling me it's a blue key card, which you can see there. Um, so keep that in mind. But yeah, the walls walls are invincible. Um, and we'll uh, at, uh, towards the end of this, we'll go through the military or the uh, research lab here, and and uh, I'll show you how to defeat the end part of it. Because getting through most of the, most of the uh, research lab isn't that difficult. But once you reach the the end, uh, I don't know air quotes boss, um, defeating that was you know if you watched our last video we, we had no idea how to get past it so I'm gonna go over what you need to do to get through that as well later on in the video so um, if you're interested in uh, some spoilers um, that's where that's gonna be we're gonna do that in creative mode just so it's a little simpler and you know not be fumbling around trying to get through uh, some enemies all on the uh, <laughs> on the video but uh, yeah so uh, stay tuned for that so one of the question is how do you find the um, location of the bunker if you are unable to uh, locate one um, or the research base as well if you're unable to locate it in the map the the right way so if you're not able to find um, the uh, trader or if you're not able to locate one just by wandering around in the wasteland or in the burnt biome how do you find one so the first piece of information you're going to need is you're going to need to know what map you're on um, again, if you are, um, if you're on a random gen map, you're going to be in trouble. I don't know if those spawn in, um, random gems or not, or how you would locate them other than just finding them or doing the quest lines if they do exist. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is, uh, find out what map you have. So if you go into a new game and you look at the world, you notice there's a bunch of smalls, uh, D, uh, the D falls ones are the pre-gen ones, uh, for darkness falls. So D falls, uh, small, D falls medium, and then D falls large. And that's the one that we ended up with. So take that in note. Um, you're going to need that to be able to locate which, uh, which world file to look for to find the coordinates of what you need. You're going to look for your, uh, steam games or, uh, steam apps location. Uh, you can right click a game in, in steam and go to its properties and, and browse that location. It'll take you right to where it is. Um, or you can uh, look up the locations. They're in different places depending on how your install is. For me, I've got them on a separate drive. Uh, so my, my location and path is slightly different. But once you get to Steam Apps, the, the, the path is going to just be the same. So you're going to click into Steam Apps, um, Common, and then 7 Days to Die. And then you're going to go into Data. And then once you're in Data, you're going to go to Worlds. And then under Worlds is where you're going to see the, the map name that we looked at just a few seconds ago. Um, for us, um, it's going to be default small. Make sure you take note of the number as well. We're in there. Um, it's going to matter um, which one of these you look in. You're going to open up this folder if I can actually click it, and you're going to look for the prefabs.xml um, file. And you're just going to open this with a text editor, um, text editor of choice. I'm using Notepad++. You can use uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, so let's swip, swip, switch over to that real quick. And then once you're in the 
um, file, the prefabs file, you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom. Uh, you can search it, but they're always at the bottom. Um, and you're going to notice these, um, the prefabs that are listed here. And this is what we're looking for. So we're looking for the defaults research lab and the defaults military bunker. So the military bunkers are again the ones going to be in the burnt bomb, and the research labs are the ones that are going to be in the um, wasteland. So you're going to take note of the coordinates. So you want to take those coordinates and take note of them, put them in a document or whatever, and then I'll show you how to look, how to decipher those coordinates. Um, so the coordinates for our example um, are going to be negative 370 or 3748 and positive 2317. Um, the middle number is going to be elevation. Uh, it's not going to help you a whole lot in locating these bunkers, so you can safely ignore that number. Uh, it does matter, but uh, for what we're doing, it's not going to matter. Um, and how these coordinates are written in the file is um, your first number is going to be your east-west coordinate and your second number or your your I guess third number or far right number is going to be your south north coordinate um, on the left hand number the east west coordinate a positive number is going to mean the it's going to be east on the map and the negative number is going to be west on the map uh, and the same on the uh, north south uh, north is going to be a positive number south is going to be a negative number however in the um, actual map on the uh, in the game, you're going to notice that those numbers are going to be reversed, and they're always going to be positive. That's so going to be a little harder to figure out uh, how the numbers lay out. So I've kind of brought it into what it looked like in the game. So in the name, in the game, your first number is going to be your north-south, which is going to correspond to your second number in the, um, or your last number in the coordinates in the file. And like again, it's going to always be positive. So it's just seeing the coordinates in here, it's going to be hard to tell which is which. And so we'll we'll jump into seven days here in a minute and show you how to find it in the map. And of course, your your second number is going to be your uh, east-west coordinates. Um, again, the positive and negative determining whether it's east or west. So I wanted to bring up a grid here. Um, I don't know who to credit for this. I found this just with a Google image search to try to give. Uh, this is for Navisgain, I believe. Um, just give some idea to help understand visit, visually what uh, what the coordinates mean. Um, so if you want to, if you look here, um, of course, you know, dead center is going to be zero zero. Um, and then as you go into the upper right, you're gonna have two positive numbers. So positive three, positive three. If you're going to go far to the, you know, south, um, southwest here, it's going to be negative four, negative four. So two negative numbers. So keep that in mind. That's how the numbers are laid out. Um, and we'll show you here in just a second that the numbers are backward in the, um, in the actual map in the game. Why? I don't know. Um, but just keep that in mind. So if you have a negative number, just remember that the first number is your um, your you know west east. Uh, negative means that you're going to be you're going to be over here. Positive means you're going to be on this side of the map. So say this is dead center right here. You know if you've got a negative number, it's going to put you on this side. And then the same with the other one. If you have a positive number, it's going to put you up here. So if you have a negative and a positive, so negative and then positive, that's going to be up here. Two positives going to be up here positive and then a negative is going to put you down here and then negative and negative of course is down here so that'll give you some idea if you want to visualize the coordinates in the file with what's actually on the map so that's how the grids laid out um, so what we'll do we'll cut over to um, the game um, we'll load in um, our test map and uh, we'll, we'll kind of show you how to find these things um, with the coordinates all right, so let's talk about how to locate the coordinates when you're in the game. Um, the best way I've found is not to wander. If you're doing this by the coordinates and you're not just wandering around and actually trying to find these things the uh, legitimate way, um, which again is how I recommend it unless you just can't find them and you've spent an absorbed amount of time and you just can't seem to overcome it. So wherever you are, get in a safe place, stand in your base, whatever. And if you notice your mouse as you move it around, the coordinates right in this area here change as your mouse moves around. So what you're going to do is you're going to use these coordinates to help you locate um, the location of uh, the, the coordinates that you found in the file. So for us we're going to still use the example it's going to be negative uh, 3748 and positive 2317. Uh, so as we remember um, from earlier the first number is your east-west 
coordinates. So we're going to stick with that first. We're going to find out what their east-west coordinates are. And if you notice up here, that everything's backwards. So the number on the left says south. The number on the uh, right says east. And if you notice, if I move my mouse to the, to the right and to the left, that's east and west. It's the right number that's changing. But in the file, it's the left number in the file. Uh, so it's really confusing. Uh, it took us a bit to figure it out. And even even to make things even better, the the uh, the, f the numbers never go po uh, negative. They're always a positive number. So as you notice, the numbers just seem to not, it's really hard to understand what's happening sometimes. But what you can notice is if you go down, we'll use the first number here as our north-south. As you notice, if I go south, eventually the number is going to hit zero. And it's just going to start going again. If we keep going. And see, it's we've hit effectively zero, and we've passed it, and we're going negative now. Even though it says positive, we'll know it's negative because as we move down, the number goes positive. Um, it's math for you. Um, <laughs> so for our um, east-west number, it's the same thing. So once you cross the center line, as you can see, the number's getting really small, and then it's larger. So that's sort of your center line. You can kind of mess around here and kind of find where the center of the map is. So um, for our example, the negative 3748. So we know that is our east-west number, um, and we know that since it is negative, it is going to be on the west side of the, the center line. So if we're going to use our east-west, so you notice the right number there. As we move our mouse over, we've hit um, our negative number, so this is still east, and you see it's changed to west. So we know that's going to be west. So we're going to look at west, negative uh, 3748. So you're just going to come over here and get some idea. So we know that north or south is where this is going to be. Our second number is going to be 2317, so we know that's a positive number, so that's going to put us in the north. And we're already north, so as you can see in this left number, um, it says 917 north, so we already know that we're positive, so we're where we need to be. So we're just going to go north some, kind of generally stay in, the, in a straight line to kind of give us some idea where we are, but we'll refine this number as we get closer. And you're just going to go up until you hit the, the 37, uh, 3748 number. So. We're just going to go around through here and, um, I'm sorry, 23, I'm getting myself confused. 2317 is the number we're looking for. So 2317, so 2317, and then negative 3748. And let's see here, 3748, and then 2317. So what I'm, I usually do is I just get close and drop a uh, point down, and that usually gives me some idea of the area to look in. And once you're in this area, it doesn't take very much to find it, and that's how we found them initially. But for the sake of time, we're going to do a quick teleport over, and we'll show you how, uh, how it looks once you get there. And as you can see, when we teleported over, we landed almost exactly on our uh, marker that we put down, and then right in front of us here is the... The research lab so that's how I found it um, it's a little complicated once you've done it a little bit you start kind of getting used to it and it's not that difficult to find them we went in um, and just marked them all um, once we figured out the coordinate system and just had them on the maps and then we could play them as we you know as we wanted to um, it still was quite the quest to get there our map was a uh, a uh, very large map, so we had about six kilometers or so to get to the uh, get to the location. So it was quite the uh, quite the trek to get here. So just keep that in mind. If you're on a smaller map, I don't think this is even necessary. I think you'll be able to just go through and, and search around and find these and do this the right way. Or maybe you'll get lucky and find Eve if you're on a smaller map as well. She'll give you the quest lines to them and take you right to them. You won't have to do any of this, and it'll be much simpler.